Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go grocery shopping. I've had so many people that have asked me, what do I buy at the store? Can you give me a shopping list? Well, I figured I would just take you with me and let's take a look at the foods that are helpful and maybe some foods that you should avoid when you're at the grocery store. Let's go. Dairy is always a funny one, so it depends on the person, but you can try organic. Chicken, poultry, I do buy a little bit of this, but it's not my favorite. Pork, of course, love bacon. Do sometimes have sausages. Eggs are a absolute staple. I always buy the best quality eggs I can find, pasture raised. Communion foods, well, occasionally it's okay. They are high in sodium, do have a little bit of fillers, so not the best, but okay for once in a while. I love smoked fish. This is one of my favorite things. I eat a lot of smoked salmon. It's uh, got a lot of good fats, super healthy. Root vegetables are always pretty good. I would say start with a small amount. If you're new to adding vegetables to your diet, sweet potatoes, and I love these purple ones. Nuts, pretty much nuts of all kinds, cashews, almonds. Nuts and seeds are really not a good choice for anyone with inflammatory bowel. Bananas, this is work good for some people, but not everybody, so you have to test it out. I love squash. This is great for certain times of the year when it's in season. One of my favorites is spaghetti squash, but any of them work. Be careful with tomatoes, cucumbers. These are great in the summer, but the seeds uh, and the skins can be problematic for some people. Mushrooms are awesome. They do help to kill bacteria in the gut. So I do all kinds of mushrooms, just basically sauteed in butter, maybe a little garlic. The only time I wouldn't eat it is if you had candida. Turmeric is a favorite. I started using this in Costa Rica. Awesome for gut health. Artichokes, absolute favorite. Great for prebiotic fiber. So are these sunchokes. If you've never had these, you must try. Cucumbers, eh, not so great. Make sure you peel them. Same thing with all of these beautiful bell peppers. They are definitely eye-catching, but the skins are terrible for the gut. Cruciferous vegetables, they always get a lot of attention. Also these beets, beautiful, but unless you cook them really, really well, they can irritate the gut. And they also contain things that can bother your thyroid. So all of these vegetables are great, but limited amounts. Make sure you cook anything other than salad. This fennel is my favorite. Berries are great. Uh, I actually kind of avoid strawberries because they grow in the ground and can sometimes have bacteria, but raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, these are all great. Oranges typically are too much fiber for people with digestive issues, so I kind of avoid those. Um, but if you are okay with it, you can juice them. I hope you enjoyed that shopping trip and now the sun is out so it's time to go enjoy Laguna Beach. So hope you guys like that video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.